So recently, a friend of mine asked me to design a case for an electronic project that he's working on. And I did the design and printed it out. Unfortunately, the corners of the 3D print are warped, as you can see here. They are moving down and are not absolutely straight as they should be. And obviously, I don't want this. Uh, I want the case to print completely straight, and it's not doing it. Now, there can be a couple of things on my printer that are causing this. It could be the filament, but this is not an uncommon phenomenon in 3D printing. And the reason that it happens is because the printing material shrinks while 3D printing. It doesn't happen with all filaments. Some are better than others, but it's very, very common. And the mechanism that causes uh, this is the fact that when plastic is printed, it initially expands slightly, but then it contracts as the plastic cools down. And if mat the print material contracts too much, it causes the print to bend up from the build plate and it warps the print. So there are a number of ways to fix this problem. Um, for example, you can apply an adhesive to the build plate like uh, glue. Uh, you can use a, a really well heated bed. You can use a brim or you can use a raft. You can make your first layer slightly thicker. You can also calibrate the cooling of the printer and specifically set the fan at the right speed. So basically, if you cool the plastic too quickly, it tends to shrink. And if you uh, don't cool it for the first couple of layers, uh, don't uh, turn on the cooling fan, then perhaps it will stay down. But all of these techniques may or may not work. And um, you know you can try them and they can be helpful. But some of these techniques are not ideal in terms of maximizing the look of your print. So some of these techniques can actually damage your print quite a bit. For example, uh, brims and rafts can be difficult to remove. And a lot of times they uh, do a lot of dam damage to the uh, final print. Uh, you can apply glue to the build plate, but that can be messy and it may or may not work. Now, I have found that there is one technique that um, I haven't mentioned, which works for me. And this is the one I'm going to show you today. And that is basically applying what are known as mouse ears to your 3D model. It's really easy to do, and it minimizes any damage to the print when you remove it because it's very uninvasive. So this is what I'm going to show you today. If you're having this problem and want an easy solution, stay tuned, and I'll show you how to fix it. All right, so welcome back. So as you can see, I have opened up Prusa Slicer and um, I am going to apply the, the mouse ears to this model. And I'm going to apply them to each of the corners of the model because of course this is where the problem is. So let's begin uh, doing that. Now, before I do that, I need to move out of the way because we need to see this area of the uh, software of the slicer. So the first thing that we do is we create a modifier. Uh, specifically, we create a part. And we're going to use a cylinder for this particular uh, project that we're working on. So click on cylinder. And here is a cylinder. And we're going to um, change the size of the cylinder so that it's uh, more appropriate to what we're doing here. So let's click on the size option here or the scale option, and we'll, we will rescale this. Now, the most important thing to be concerned with is the Z height. You basically don't want to make the mouse ears too big. You want to make them big enough so that they will keep the corners stuck to the build plate 
but not so big that they will be difficult to remove. You want to make it easy to remove with uh, causing minimal damage to the, the print. So those are the criteria that you need to think about. So let's rescale this. And I'm going to make this very, very small, very tiny. We don't need to have it big at all, maybe about this size. And the most important thing is the thickness. We want it to be very thin so that it will be easy to remove. So I'm going to scale it down so that it is very, very thin. In fact, I'm going to go here and I'm going to basically make sure that the lock here is unchecked or open because we want to just scale the Z height of the modifier of the of the part. So I'm going to make it very, very small, very, very thin. Uh, let's just make it 0 0.20 millimeters. So extremely, extremely thin. And the next thing that we want to do is put it on the build plate because it's off the build plate. It's floating in midair. So to do that, there is a little icon here that allows you to drop it to the bed. So I'm going to click on that. It goes to the bed. I'm going to grab the mouse ear and I will put it where it needs to be. So right at the corner, like so. Like this. Perfect. Once I get it just in the right position, I will need to essentially duplicate it. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'll go here and I'll say copy and then I'll paste it and I will move it to the next point. I will copy and paste again. So copy, paste and move it to the next point, like so, and copy and paste, and move it to the final point. Now I have four mouse ears that hopefully will help keep the corners of this part down so that when it's finally printed, it's gonna look as it should without any warping. So let's just, um, let's just click on this and it looks like it's gonna be just fine. Let's uh, slice it and it's going to take essentially 44 minutes. All right, so let's send this to the printer and then I'll come back and we'll see if the print is nice and straight and if the mouse ears actually did what they're supposed to do. All right, so the first layer went down just fine and the mouse ears seem to be working because the corners are not curling up. Now, I gotta tell you, this is a very fast print. I'm really pushing my Ender 3 here. This is my Ender 3, which I've converted to Clipper and I am really printing quickly with it. Despite that, it seems to be printing really, really well. And um, the mouse ears seem to have worked because the case looks really good. There's no curling. All the surfaces are nice and straight. So in the end, I am really happy with how it turned out. I'm very, very pleased with um, the look of this um, print. Okay, so the last thing that we need to do is remove the mouse ears. Now, for this, you need to be very careful because you don't want to damage the print. So get as close to the body of the part, but not too close because you want to avoid blemishing the part. As you can see, I got too close. Here I am blemishing the part a little bit, but um, you know, you gotta be careful. Uh, I made a few mistakes myself, but overall, I am quite happy with how it turned out. Uh, yeah, it looks really good and it's very, very effective uh, 
a very, very effective technique. All right, so that's basically all there is to it. As you can see, the final print uh, looks pretty good and the lines are straight um, and everything has come together uh, just as it should. Anyway, uh, I hope this video was helpful to you. And um, if it was, um, consider subscribing to my channel and uh, hitting the notification bell. Uh, every subscription uh, helps me and encourages me to make more videos. So I, I thank you for watching and um, keep on printing and I'll see you soon. Take care for now. Bye-bye.